morning, everybody. Welcome to Morning Coffee Therapy. It's in the title. I'll try not to bark about it too much, but read the room would be my first suggestion. Um, the, the title of the show is Morning Coffee Therapy. Morning does not have top billing. You know, all three words have, carry the same weight. It's morning, I'm having coffee, and, and there's therapy involved, and therapy is talking about things. So it might take me five minutes to get to the coffee. It's not because the coffee's not important, it's because the coffee is in the sequence where I put it in the sequence. So, yes, I blabber. I talk a lot in the beginning. And quite honestly, that's the way it's been for over a year. People that have been with me for over a year understand that and I appreciate them very much. People that are just joining and don't understand the concept, the concept is in the title and it has carried me well throughout this year and some change. The one thing that has remained consistent regardless of whether I have 600 views on one video or 10 views on another video, is that I'm talking about what has happened during the day or my thoughts and feelings about a particular subject and then we're having coffee. That's what we do. That's what I've been doing. And that's what I will continue to do. Um, it hasn't changed. And there's really mm, no reason to change. This is the coconut and caramel flavored coffee from Darling Delight. And Indy has brought us his hamster. Yeah, you did. What a good kitty. I was downstairs getting the camera ready and he brought the hamster downstairs just as I was standing up to come upstairs. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, dude. I am so, so sorry. I'm going back upstairs. <laughs> so he carried it back upstairs. He carries that thing everywhere. It's really strange. It is just the strangest. It's his comfort animal, which I think is great. Everyone should have a comfort thing that they gravitate to. I think that that's an awesome thing. It helps, it helps you focus and I'm pretty sure that none of that is why he drags it along. I think he just drags it along because he wants to drag it along. I mean, cats are in instinctual. So it's like, you know, they are also habitual. So I don't know. So this is the Darling Delight. It's a coconut and caramel flavored coffee from uh, Bones Coffee. It's part of their Indiana Jones. I think this one was supposed to be Temple of Doom based uh, due to a lot of different factors. Um, the, the beating up of the individuals, you know, and I think it's supposed to be Willie Scott, which Willie Scott's hair is longer. I think that's supposed to be short round, but short round is a lot taller than he was. I mean, it, the colors and the backdrop scream Temple of Doom. So I believe that this, and each one was different. Right, the Crusader Cup. It's a Scotcheroo flavored coffee. It is based on the Last Crusade. As you can kind of see, you know, there's a little all over the place. Uh, I don't believe there were any asps that were very dangerous in that one. I think that was just in, in the Raiders of the Lost Ark were the asps in the desert. And then of course it was the Holy Grail in The Last Crusade. So Crusader Cup, Scotcheroo, which is chocolate, butterscotch and caramel, which is delicious. This is a good one. But today we're doing Darling Delight, because mm, it smells so nice. Using my chahi. So excited, I'm so glad I got this thing. We're gonna measure out around 21 grams. It'll hold more than the 21 grams I'm putting in here. I wonder how much I can successfully stick in here. Wow, almost 55 grams without uh, feeling like it's all gonna fall out. I will say it's not it's a slippery sucker. <laughs> Let's see if we can get everything back in there. You don't have to put it at 90 degrees in order to pour the beans out. That's a good thing. That's good. 21 grams, awesome. So 21 grams means around 300 milliliters of water because it's a seven grams to 100 milliliters of water. So 21 grams will be 300 grams of water. So we'll do about 350 grams of water because this is pretty. We don't have to actually spray this. I'm going to anyway, just to get myself into a habit. 
of spraying the beans just so when I do the other ones, might have been a little too much water. I don't know, hard to say. And it just, just falls right in there. It's pretty cool. It'll be a little sticky, but it'll be all right. We'll do about a, about a 15 there. It's more on the finer side of everything. Oh, one stuck to my hand. <laughs> Let's get her started. I'll tell you, uh, the coating that they put on this, mm, water's done by the way, yep. The coating that they put on it is really neat and nice and it doesn't allow for any static when you get it down here into the, the collection chamber. The water seemed to actually make it a little bit more slippery in here. So all of the grounds really followed suit getting themselves down there, which is actually kind of cool. I don't know what the water buildup retention is gonna be. You can see there's a little bit of coming out the bottom there. That's actually a lot less than I would expect. Mm, smells so good. I've got a Bones Coffee coming from FedEx today. At least that's what the little thingy said. Boy, it just doesn't seem like a lot of coffee in such a big filter, does it? <laughs> All right, Chahi, thank you. Let's get some water in our coffee. Something really funny did happen yesterday. I busted my finger, smashed it. We can talk about that. Water. I, um, oh yeah, I've got something coming from FedEx today. I'm very excited about it. It'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully we'll get to talk about it next week. Anyhow, let's get ourselves started here. Get ourselves a little bit of a bloom. There we go. About 70 grams of water in there, and I'm gonna go for about 350. I'm gonna do about 350 grams, a little bit more water than our normal seven to 100 ratio, but this coffee can handle it. It's got all that wonderful flavor, and, you know, I want a little more coffee. I should have ground a little bit more coffee here, but when you're trying to stick to a ratio, and I didn't know how much that could hold, so I had planned for 21 grams of coffee rather than 28 grams of coffee. So next time we do this, we'll do about 28 grams of coffee. All right, we've bloomed. Let's get our around 350 grams of water in here. So yeah, something's coming from FedEx. It should arrive today. I'm pretty excited about it. Hopefully we'll have more about that next week. Right now we're doing this. Anywho, so get a text from our neighbor and um, our immediate neighbor whom uh, is, they're wonderful people. I like them a lot. I'll help them out as, as much as I can whenever I can. Texted me saying that they wanted to borrow our large stepping stool. It's a fold out stepping stool. It's about this high. We want to borrow your step stool. And I'm like, why is that? And they said, well, they wanted to put uh, up a curtain in the three season room. It's our back porch back here that's screened off. They had windows put into theirs. So now it's like a three season, four season room. Seems to be drawing down a little quicker than I would like, but that's okay. I don't mind so much. Get that coffee picked up all on the side. I grab the ladder. I meet her husband out there and I'm like, what you doing? He says, well, we're going to put up this. I just need to borrow your stepping stool. And I'm like, I'll bring it over. So I brought it over and he showed me what he wanted to do. And I put the stepping stool down and, and just as he was about to turn and grab the hammer and nails, I was already up on top of the stepping stool. Now, my neighbor, he should not be on a stepladder, any kind of stepladder, let alone this taller stepladder. And cause he's got a vertigo problem. So he, he should not be up there doing that. And how and the, the heights that we had to get to, I had to get up to the last step where I could not grab onto the hand the little rail that's in the front and reach up and tap at the same time. I actually had to stand up tall and hold my hands up like this to, to nail anything in. Um, very dangerous, very, especially for someone that is suffering from vertigo like that. Very dangerous. Uh, do not recommend, should not do that. So I, I, I put my hand out and I said, give me the hammer and the nails. And he says, well, I can do it. And I'm like, I'm already up here. Let me take care of it. So I took care of it. Um, he handed me the, the world's smallest hammer and I'm like, uh, okay. So 
Um, I started hammering with this hand, but it was kind of awkward, and I can hammer with my left hand just fine. Obviously not, though, with the little bruise that I've got right there. Um, but it, the, the head of the hammer was so small, and it was a penny nail, so it was like this big. So I'm like hammering it in, and it's, it's just little fast taps in order to get the damn thing started into the wood, and I smooshed my, my finger. He says, do you need a bigger hammer? And I'm like, I would love a bigger hammer. So he... <laughs> Went and got a bigger hammer, and I nailed in the last two nails on this curtain. And, you know, of course, they're incredibly grateful, and I'm very happy to help. It's just that the, the thought of handing him that stepping stool and knowing what he was going to go do, or I, I had a picture in my head of what he was doing. And when I got there to, to help, um, it was even taller than I expected. And I'm like, you, you're going to get yourself up these three steps? and nail that in, I'm like, you can't, you can't do that. I'll, I'll do it, let me do it, I'll help. You know, I'm home, let me help. This is a medium roast. Like I said, it's Darling Del Delight, it's the coconut and caramel. If you like either one of those things, this, this might be your jam. It doesn't fill up my cup, I am not pleased. Oh well, this is a big cup. As you can see. Mm. Mm. All the flavors plus the coffee. It just mixes so well together. The Crusader cup is also great. What they've called a Scotcheroo um, chocolate butterscotch caramel. It's it's just all of those flavors and they meld so well together. You don't need sugar. I did try adding sugar once and it off balanced everything and it wasn't great. You can add milk though, and milk is not that bad. It kind of cuts back on the coffee flavor and you get more of the uh, the caramel and the coconut, but just the way it is though. Mm. It's just so nice. I got to the coffee part. I don't know what kind of a day the person that posted that had. And I don't, I don't want to be mean. I think what I said was very middle of the road because it's like, you know, you just kept talking, get to the coffee. And I'm like, no, that's not the point of the series. It's in the title. You know, I mean, if, if you want instant gratification, go to Instagram, Instagram, it, it's in the name, Insta, you know, Insta, get your instant gratification there. This is for, vid this is a video. This is 15 to 20 minutes long and uh, for the past year and some change, I've been talking and making coffee. And that's the entire modus operandi of this series. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what kind of day they had. Maybe it was a bad day. Maybe they just needed to lash out at someone. You know, maybe they're just a bad person. Uh, I did go to their YouTube page. They, there was nothing on it. <laughs> so. I don't know if people are just creating stuff in order to just be, because I mean, a lot of, the, that's the kind of the constant thread of the people that, you know, once my videos get up to a certain point is when I go to their profile page, it's a completely blank. They may have some saved videos from seven years ago, but otherwise, and I'm not saying you have to create things in order to criticize stuff. You know what you like, you know what you don't like, that's, incredibly valid. You, you being you is valid. You are fine. It is okay to be you. But, you know, there's constructive criticism and then there's just completely ignoring the format of what's happening in front of you and being a jerk or trying to be a bully or just lashing out for no reason other than to, because you think it's funny. And it's honestly not. It's not funny. It's not interesting. It's not helpful. So I, mean, I don't know what kind of a bad day you had. And I hope it got better today. But no. This is my format. This is what I do. I drink coffee. I make coffee. I drink it. And then I talk about what I want to talk about because it's therapy. And it started when I lost my job last year, January of last year. I was let go. I was laid off. Myself and several other people were laid off from the company. 
So, and then to not help with my mental stability, they attempted to come back and rehire me. I told them what I was worth. They told me I was not worth that in their eyes. And I said, no, thank you. So, I mean, it's more drawn out than that. And I talk about it a lot in one of the shows. I should probably earmark those shows. This is the where they let me go episode. This is where they tried to hire me back episode. This is where they tried to lowball me episode. And that's how, this is how I feel about that. I should probably earmark those so I can point people at that stuff. But that's the reason I do this. I do this because it helps me. It gets me into coffee. It helps me have a hobby. I get to record it. I get to edit it. I get to make sure it goes well. I upload it. It's a skill set that I'm trying to hone a little bit more and a little bit more every day. And it's, you know, it's, it's fun for me. And part of this is me talking. So we need to 10 minutes until you get to the coffee. Yeah, sometimes it takes 10 minutes for me to get the coffee. I mean, I gotta heat the water up. I gotta grind the beans. You know, there's time there. To, uh, water doesn't instantly heat up. What did Data say? I've been testing the aphorism, a watched pot never boils. I've boiled the same amount of water in this kettle 62 times. In some cases, I have ignored the kettle. In others, I have watched it intently. In every instance, the water reaches its boiling point in precisely 51.7 seconds. There's a process here. There's been a process for over a year. That process has done me incredibly well. I have a wonderful following of people that watch. I have people that subscribe. I have people that unsubscribe, which is fine. I just pretend like they died. And part of the will was to have their YouTube feed scrubbed. You know, I just, that's, that's, that's my thing. You know, if I lose three followers, I'm like, oh, three people died yesterday. That's so sad. It's just a thing that I do to try to keep the mental illness from taking over. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. We will talk to you next week. Like I said, hopefully the FedEx thingy will arrive. It's raining right now, so hopefully it will arrive underneath my covered porch rather than beside my garage where it will get waterlogged. And we'll see you next week around Tuesday. We'll drink it up. I have a doctor's appointment on Monday. I can't wait to talk about that on Tuesday. I'm sure everybody will be really excited to hear about my medical notes on Tuesday. So get ready for that. Yeah. Have a great weekend. Bye.